Hi, my name is Lewis with Rossman Supply Group, and today I'd like to discuss our Genius of the Week. Our Genius of the Week series is dedicated to interesting customer service hassles based on, on what I find to be interesting people. Now, this week's is based on drop shipping. There's a customer who's purchased from us a couple of times, and every single time they buy, they message us usually about five minutes before we've actually packaged the item saying, you know, please do not include an invoice with this. Please do not include an invoice because it's being drop shipped to somebody else. Now, our prices on eBay are a joke. If you, if you look it up right now, you can buy a A1278 unibody MacBook LCD for like $48 and something cents in free shipping. And there are a lot of vendors that are charging their clients, you know, like $55, $70 for this part. And they're preferred customers. Here, retail, $48.29. And so our eBay prices are very, very low. Now, our, in our listing, it says the following. It says, in the how does this ship section, it says, we include a packing slip with every order. If you want to sell these screens to other vendors cheaply, we welcome your wholesale business and can offer them to you very cheaply. If you message us after sale asking us to remove the packing slip, we are not going to help you. We are far too busy to honor these requests. If you want to make more money selling screens, stock them and sell them. Don't buy them off of eBay and ship them directly to a customer. Now, there's a reason for this. I'm not saying I don't like drop shipping. There are many, many people who say, I want to buy 20 or 40 or 60 of this, or even 5. And they contact us before a sale, and they'll say, I want to buy these. Can you ship them to this place? Can you change the shipping address in the from field? Sure. Can you not include a packing slip? Sure. Because you're actually making an effort to work with me here. You know, you're not doing the business through eBay. For, uh, and also, on a side note, Fuck you for actually wanting me to do you a favor after buying on eBay. Again, this person is a business person since they're doing drop shipping. So obviously they understand that I'm paying a fee to sell on eBay. So if you'd like me to do some sort of extra work for you, maybe you could offer, let's say, let's do the sale outside of eBay. And I'll go, okay, cool. Even if it's only one item. Because again, drop shipping one item for one retail customer, it's, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Because think about it. I actually have to, you know, we have to walk down to the shipping area walk over to the shipping person who may have very well already packaged this product and go, please take that out, that guy just messaged us that he doesn't want a packing slip. So then that dude has to go through 100 to 200 boxes, find the box that belongs to this guy, open the box, cut it up, take the packing slip out. And this is for a screen that we're actually selling at an 86 cent profit margin. Instead of contacting us, let's say through regular means, by let's say through a regular email, again, because this is a business, Instead of saying, you know, I would like to buy this for this customer, can you buy and ship to this address with no packing slip, you actually place the order so that the ship, again, this, because the, this may surprise a lot of people, but the person who's packaging the box is not the person that's reading all, all, all these messages. Because if the guy who's packaging the box stopped packaging boxes to read messages, nobody's box would go out the door because there are a lot of questions that people ask. So, I guess it's a combination of things. I honestly don't mind drop shipping. I don't mind drop shipping one item. I don't mind shipping things on eBay for virtually no profit, but it just seems a little bit inconsiderate if you want to do the sale on eBay. You you buy it knowing that it's very close to being shipped and then send the message so that the guy has to run down there, you know, open the box, take out the packing slip after it's packed. And it says in the message, you know, please don't buy this if you plan on drop shipping it. Because again, eBay orders, they're not really about making money. It's just about we're making 86 cents to 2 to 3 dollars on this. How many of these things can we package and get out the door in the quickest, fastest, simplest way possible? So when we're doing those orders, anything that adds to the complexity of the order is just not worth it unless you're willing to work with us. And again, if somebody messages us and says, you know, would you be able to send this part to this person, uh, send me an invoice, and, uh, you know, we don't have to deal with, again, the fees here, or I'm sorry I'm asking you this, I will try to work with you in the future. There are a couple of other, other people that I know that will need these parts. Maybe we could work together and you know set up a commission system. Anybody who actually puts a little bit of effort in, I'll work with you. I mean, yeah. And again, in, in this situation, since I would be actually creating the invoice and handling the order myself, I wouldn't have to deal with the whole hell of going through 100 boxes, finding your order, ripping the box open, I don't know, looking for the packing slip, taking it out and reboxing it, which I do every time some fuckwit messages us you know, two hours after their order with this asinine request. But, so my idea here is that supplier relations, 
and successful supplier relations are usually based on how easy you are to work with and how willing you are to make someone's life simpler. I'm not saying that it's your job to make my life easy. Your job is to get what you want and satisfy your customers. Uh, you'll do that easy, and I do this easier with my own suppliers when I make life easy for them. A lot of suppliers that I have will offer us certain parts before they offer it to other companies. On eBay, we were the first company selling the B116XW05 V0 polarizer for quite a bit of time. We were the first company selling it for less than some nonsense like 300 bucks. We had that up there for at $90 because we were buying them for, you know, something like $30, $40. Other, and again, nobody else actually had this part. They had it up at what I call the fuck you price. On eBay, you're, if, you, if, you don't, if you take your listing down and put it back up, it loses its rank. It, it, doesn't go, it doesn't get to stay as high as it was if you're always taking it down and putting it up. So make it, taking a listing off stock of eBay is a bad idea. What I call it and what other vendors do, I'm not sure what they call it, is the fuck you price, which means the don't buy me price. If you go on eBay and something that you're usually used to paying 30 bucks for is $500, they don't actually expect you to pay $500, they just expect you to not buy it. Anyway, so we had quite a few parts on eBay that nobody else had because we were very, very nice to these vendors. Not just nice in terms of, you know, just like sucking it up and paying a lot of money for things. We would test our products before we returned them. We would only return things we knew were bad. We were nice when dealing with returns. We were nice when dealing with initial purchases. If we said we will pay in this time frame, we would pay in this time frame. If we thought the vendor was offering us something where they were bending over backwards and not really making a lot of money, we would say, you know what? Are you sure you really want to deal with selling this to us? Maybe we can do business in some other area where we can both make some money so that you don't torture yourself trying to get this part that somebody else may be able to get with for a lot less effort. We try to make life easy on our vendors, and because we make life easy on our vendors, they make life easy on us in return. And that's how, even though we've started with a very, very low initial amount of money, we were able to compete with vendors that were million-dollar vendors, because a lot of these million-dollar vendors selling on eBay, or a decent amount of them, don't understand supplier relations. They just say, we want this part. Why is it so expensive? Make it cheaper or we're buying somewhere else. We buy a thousand of them. We want it cheaper. We want it cheaper. Why did you send back our returns? Why can't you get us this? And they're not really motivated to work with them. Like, they work with them because they have to work with them. These vendors will work with these American companies because they have to, because if they can't turn away an account where they want to buy 500 or 1,000 parts, but, you know, if something comes up that's rare or cool, what do you think they're going to offer it to at first? Them or myself? If you want a part drop shipped to your customer, who am I going to offer it to first? Again, the guy who made no effort to make it simple or streamlined with our system of ordering, or you know, the, or the guy who actually contacts us and says, "Hey, I have a customer that wants this. This may be a regular thing for us. Why don't you? you know, I'll give you the address and the shipping information. I'll pay however way you want us to pay. Just let me know how this could work out, and I'll ship and I'll have it shipped to that location. Just do, do me a favor before I place the order. I'd just like to ask." You know, if you could not include a packing list, because I know when you're listing, it says don't you know don't order and expect us to not include a packing list. I understand that you probably have a lot of orders to process. I understand that you're probably making jack shit off of these. Can you just do me a favor for this one and not include a packing? I'll go through effort, and I'm not saying that you should have to kiss the ass of any of your vendors. Please don't get into into your head that I expect people to kiss our ass. I really, really don't. I I really don't. All I'm all I'm saying is that if you want specific results that are outside how a business usually operates. Make a little bit of an effort to start a business relationship with them. Again, eBay is not a place to do uh, have a business relationship. You shouldn't be buying things on eBay if you are a business. The only time you should resort to eBay as a business is when you've went to vendor A, B, C, D, and E, and none of them have this part, or when all your vendors have this part, but they want 50 bucks for it. And it's a tiny cable, and that cable's going for $2.50 on eBay from many different vendors. Then use eBay. But eBay is not a place that a business should be using to begin with to find things. I mean, you should be, I mean, not to find things, to buy things. You I mean, find people on eBay, talk to them on eBay, but talk to them and then, you know, deal outside of it. Or maybe make one purchase, but don't, it's, I, I, in my opinion, and a lot of people think my opinion is wrong, I think it is foolish. Again, the reason that we include packing lists and the reason that we include the information from the order is to make it easy when that customer sends it back. Let's say you have an issue with your screen, or you want to return the screen that you received, a lot of the times people send it back and will ask them to print out a sheet with their information, just the eBay messages or any of that information. 90% of them come back without that info, and I have no idea who the fuck the screen belongs to because they send it back from the UPS store in, you know, Omaha, and 
That's and it's the, that, that UPS store is a different zip code from the customer, and they use the UPS store representative's name, and I have no idea who the screen belongs to. Uh, so we'll include the packing list, and we'll even include an uh, adhesive version on the bubble wrap, so that when you pack, just even just re-bubble wrapping this to send it back, I will have your information, and I'll know who to refund. That's done to make our lives easier. And we include this packing list with every order because success, it's allowed us to successfully refund people who you know, send parts back. What we used to do is we used to just log in the tracking number of all our returns and you know, wait for the person to complain and they'll say, well, well, when they tell us the tracking number, I'll look up and see which screen it is and I'll go, okay, here's your refund. That, but that's not a good system. I like to have a system where I know exactly who you are. And this, this system has made life fairly simple. And uh, again, as I said, now, th this customer, ironically, mentioned to us, you know, it's not right that you tell us how to do business. And I find great irony in this, because in this particular instance, you're actually telling us how to do business. See, we're stating up front, without hiding it or in any way, that if you're drop shipping, you should know that we include a packing list, and on eBay orders, we, it's just not economical for us to honor requests to remove packing lists. So you're actually asking us to change the way we do business after purchasing, Whereas I'm asking you to change the way you do business before purchasing. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm being a dick. Maybe I'm you know, going overboard. But just my opinion. Let me know what you think. Thank you and good night.